Hello everyone, I am Dr. Abhishek Chaudhary and in today's video we will discuss about Valeriana. But to understand Valeriana, pehle hume samajna hoga ki conversion disorder kya hota hai. What is conversion disorder? Isko pehle hum jo jante the jis term se, that term was hysteria. Still in our text, it is mentioned as hysteria in Materia Medica, in, uh, in our repertories, it is given as hysteria. But what is this hysteria or conversion disorder? Now, hysteria is a Purana Shabd, as a Solvi, Satravi, Shatabdi, as a man, that this manifestation, these symptoms, are in hysteria. Mein, it is something related with uterus. Because it primarily females ko affect females. So, it is something related with uterus. 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 So, it is something but later on, when other psychologists came, like Freud came, they explained that this hysteria hai, it is not related with uterus and it is not uh, limited to females. This can be in any age group, it can be in both sexes. Mein ho sakta hai. And it is not due to uterus, it is mainly due to the anxiety, the suppressed anxiety that is being converted into physiological symptoms, symptoms on physical level. That anxiety is converted and that is why it is called as conversion disorder. That is somatoform disorder because that, that anxiety whatever suppressed anxiety is there that is converted into the physical symptoms Ab mainly kya hai do tarah ke symptoms aapko dekhne ko milenge hysteria mein mostly neurological manifestation hai aur usme bhi sensory or motor uh, jo hai disturbances wo aapko dekhne ko milenge motor disturbances jaise ki aapko jerky movements आपको नॉजिया भी देखने को मिल सकता है कई तरह के क्रैम्स देखने को मिल सकते हैं उसके अलावा पैरालिटिक सेंसेशन सम काइंड ऑफ ट्रेम्बलिंग में भी कन्वल्शंस स्पाज़म्स सेंसरी डिस्टरबेंस में आपको कोई हाइपरस्थीशिया देखने को मिल सकता है कोई बर्निंग तरह का कुछ सेंसेशन देखने को मिल सकता है anesthetic areas dekhne ko mil sakte hain pehle ke time mein aisa mante the that these anesthetic areas during hysteria they are the sign that that, that person is a witch wo koi chudail hai aisa wo maan lete the agar is tarah ke koi anesthetic areas kahin sharir pe milte the to because there was lack of uh, knowledge lack of information at that time but now we know that the appropriate term is conversion disorder and it is manifested as various neurological manifestation both motor symptoms and uh, sensory symptoms iske alawa aage chalke iska association kai bar dissociative disorder se bhi hota hai kuch dissociative symptoms bhi aapko dekhne ko mil sakte hain jaise ki sleep walking jaise ki amnesia ye bhi aapko dekhne ko mil sakte hain kai bar uh, hysteria or conversion disorders. So, if you understand the conversion disorder, you can take remedies like Valeriana, remedies like Mosca, Signatia, and you can understand the same thing. And there are remedies in which hysteria is not a long list. You can see the repertory. If you search the repertory, there is a long list of remedies in general if you search hysteria now i'll tell talk about a case so sometimes ago uh, a child a girl child around 15 years of age 
she came uh, with her parents and she was an old patient of me and i used to give prescribe natremure based on the whole constitution and this time she complained about the trembling sensation the jerky movements she complained that there is trembling sensation in the whole body especially in the limbs and there is some kind of jerking that she feels and then she told very interesting that there it feels like something electric is flowing or electric like sensation is going on especially in the limbs so i prescribed the natrum because natrum was covering all those symptoms and she complained that this problems happens more when she was sitting or in a resting position so i prescribed natrum uh, and because natrum was her constitutional as well now this is this is a lesson that why we should keep an open mind and, and free from prejudice she was not relieved so her parents wo unko le gaye kisi dusre doctor pe and that second physician uh, after examining he referred the case to a psychiatrist and the psychiatrist diagnosed it as that it is a uh, conversion disorder a somatoform disorder and she uh, and that psychiatrist prescribed various kind of anxiolytics and various drugs and then they came back again to me to they show the prescription and they asked about whether this is a serious illness whether this is a, a big mental illness or what and then i again she was complaining of the same thing that electric sensation that jerking and all that and then i looked up a uh, rubric and uh, it in extremities electric current like and i found that a remedy is given valerian of course there are plumbum selenium silesia phosphorus but the case the whole uh, uh, the personality of the patient and the complaint she was uh, showing they did, did not resonate with all the other remedies given in this rubric so i prescribed valeriana just a single dose in 200 and it it produced beautiful result all the symptoms all the complaints the jerky movements the trembling electric sensation all were gone so if you read in borek if you have borek with you open that what he writes very interestingly in the first paragraph when apparently well chosen remedies fail so it is one of those remedy valeriana is one of those remedy of in that list like sulfur sorinum opium laurocerasus you can add valeriana to that list that when well selected remedies fail but the reason here is completely different yahan pe reason kuch aur hai yahan pe reason wo conversion disorder hai so there is no physiological explanation for that symptom for these symptoms but so that's why your well selected remedy is failing to act so you can think in complaints like that you should remember this that in conversion disorder in hysteria the patient is not faking that illness is not feigning it the sickness koi jhoot nahi bol raha wo ya koi fake nahi kar raha wo it is that suppressed anxiety that is converted into symptoms subconsciously so you should remember if you have knowledge about conversion disorder then you can understand remedies like uh, valeriana and remedies like moscus so what very interesting if you open moscus what kent writes in moscus a very interesting line the first line you read in moscus moscus cures many hysterical girls who have come to adult age without ever learning what obedience means so at that time it was believed 
that women should follow all the obedience all the manners so moscas is a kind of constitution that when even in adult age you know the female is showing kind of defined behavior or an opposition or any kind of hysterical symptoms and it 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 seems that she had not learned the maturity that should come with age still behaving like a young child or young girl so you sh- you can understand remedies like this if you have if you know about the history of that disease of history of hysteria okay so let's come back to valeriana so if you read in fatak you will find that med- whatever symptoms that i have just explained about conversion disorder you will find all the almost all the symptoms like affects the mind muscle calf heel tendon achilles okay pains are darting tearing move outwards uh illusion of vision hearing smell or taste yes it is one of the important remedies of pains of tendon achilles and heels and you might get confused because uh, that the patient uh might be suffering from gout you might be thinking like that because gout pains are like that the pains of heels or tendon achilles but the modalities are very strange it usually pains when the patient is in resting state or when standing but when start the patient starts walking the pain reduces so it is very strange so kind of contradictory just like ignatia so you can understand uh, like that and there is sen- a sense of levitation a sense of floating like lac canina then again you should remember valeriana is a very important remedy when the child vomits curdled milk especially when the mother was very angry and she feeds the baby and the baby then vomits the milk curdled in the curdled form so valeriana is very well indicated in case like that you can compare it with ethusa you can see symptoms like red parts turn white like ferum slight injuries causes spasms epileptic fits paralysis and contraction of limbs constant heat and uneasiness so all those hysterical symptoms symptoms of conversion disorder that cannot be explained physiologically you will find in valeriana and some what are some characteristic if you know about the disease the symptoms of the disease that you can find out what is uncommon characteristic what the essence of the remedy is so i hope i was able to put some light on this small but a very important remedy clinically and it is a important remedy especially in today's time you can see one very uh, important line written in ellen keynotes person in whom the intellectual faculty is predominant so intellectuals people that we find in today's time who are well educated intellectual people who may like to rationalize every, everything so in today's time it is a very important remedy My anxiety resurfaces as hysteria or as conversion disorder so i hope you have liked the video and uh, if you do then press the like button and uh, share this video and comment if you have any suggestions uh, till next time thanks a lot